tired yet? No. You're not tired? Oh man, that Too, though, eh? Look how fat that thing is. You think you can catch one like that? No. <laughs> oh man. Bridges. Today I'm gonna show y'all how I like to fish bridges. The tackle I like to use, the baits that I like to use. Bridges are an awesome way to catch fish year round. I'm gonna tell you why they stay around bridges. I promise you. After this video, you are going to go to your home lake and start fishing bridges. Right, Brooks? Maybe not. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> he was ready to get back. Oh, let's get back at it. Guess no. Today we have very little wind. So with that being said, I would probably shy away from reaction bites, reaction baits. I don't think reaction baits is going to be the best deal to do. I can present a soft plastic a lot better. So I'm going to go with a jig head today. And I've got a couple different options that we're going to use for soft plastics. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a spinning rod with some light line. I've got 10 pound test braid to an 8 pound test fluorocarbon leader. The reason I like that is just because I get a better free fall with braid to fluorocarbon combo when I'm fishing deep like this. I'm going to use the Z-Man Long Shots and Twilight. That's a bright pink and purple worm. And how I'm going to rig it is just on my jig head Texas style. It's going to rig it in there about an eighth of an inch, pull it around, pull it all the way up to the top of my jig head, spin that hook around. For this presentation, I bury the hook into the plastic. There's nothing to worry about hanging here, but I'm just going to rig it just like that. The reason I'm using this worm over some of the other plastics I have is super slender. And what that does is let that bait fall straight down instead of penduling back to the boat. Pretty decent one. All right, little bridge fish. We caught that one. And that one actually came on this jig head right here. This is my SMH worms, and I actually put a. Uh, this is a long shots worm and twilight. It's a good worm to use. What I like about the Twilight, it has a really slim profile, so it has a lot of natural action in the water column. And it's, since it's so slim, it sinks on cue. Like it doesn't pendulum back to the boat quite as much as a thicker worm would. So that's why I'm using that as opposed to some of the other worms that you could use for fishing bridge pollens. You could obviously, you could use a Ned, you could use a drop shot. Swim baits work really good. Jerk baits are some of my favorite, but I just felt like and not that much wind blowing today. I felt like a jerk bait was probably not the best option. So I went with the shaky head with a really, really slim, slender worm on it. Just so I could get it down to those fish a little better. Today we don't have much wind at all. It's very calm out. I don't like to throw reaction baits around bridge pollens when it's slick like this. Bigger. <laughs> that one might be bigger. I flipped it up by that bridge pollen and the line just stopped. That's a fat one. <laughs> that is a fat one. Yeah. I threw it right by the pollen and that thing just stopped. <laughs> oh man. Whoa, which way are you going here, buddy? Let's see <laughs> it just stopped all of a sudden. Yeah, that's the fat kind of spotted bass you want right there. <laughs> oh man, that is so much fun. You really, the thing I love about today is you get to really watch your line. Look how fat that thing is. Whoa! Come here, let me get my hands on you. <laughs> oh, 
come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. No, you don't. Oh, <laughs> look at that thing. Is she pregnant or what? Good grief. Look how they're built. Just the shape of a spotted bass is just a thing to be seen. <laughs> Look at how much girth is right there in the belly. But when you fish bridge ponds, if you fish the right baits, if you make sure that bait falls right by the piling, you can catch fish just like this on some of the toughest days there is out there on the water. The reason I like to fish bridges is because it always has fish around it. Here's why. Anytime you have a bridge, most likely you've got a couple elements that are always going to harbor one food. Since it has food, it's always going to have bass. You've got deep water. I don't care what your body of water is. There's going to be a little bit of deeper water around a bridge. There's always going to be rock so fish can transition up to the bank and down to the pilings. They've always got structure, which provides a place for the fish to ambush prey shad whatever they're using they go to the rocks get crawdads in the crevices of the rocks and then they come out here today we're gonna to be fishing over a hundred foot of water and they have an ambush point with these bridge pylons to eat so it's just the perfect recipe to hold fish all year long they're always moving up and down the water column of a bridge so it's just a great place to fish just about every waterway has a bridge on it somewhere so I know everybody can relate to this video Okay guys, let's look at the rod and reel combo that I'm gonna be using for this shaky head setup.